what is that thought? What is that feeling? What is that emotion? What is that thing that if I let it go, it would let me go? You get what mm. I mean? Mm. So, once, you know, let's go deep, right? So once you're tuned in, you're going to ask yourself, what's holding me back? The answers are within you. If you ask yourself what's holding you back, slowly but surely, little things are going to begin to be, be, be revealed to you that's going to show you what's holding you back. Perhaps like this, the, what we're doing right now is going to show you some things that may be holding you back, right? And sometimes laziness is holding people back because they're not, they're, they're like, okay, I want to get to this place. But if you're not prepared, if you're not mentally prepared and you're not pushing yourself, you could be holding yourself back. Like when yes. you ask yourself the question, a lot of times you know the answer. Why why am I being left back? Because you're holding yourself back. You're the one holding yourself yes. back. You can be there. So true, so true. And what I would say to you guys, after you finish thinking about what it is that's holding you back and asking yourself what it is that's holding you back, what I want you to do is I want you to actually visualize the obstacles that clutter your mind and keep you from achieving your goals. Right, mm. there may it may be, it may be fears, self doubt. Because yep. if, we, if we're looking at all of the things that cause a, an imbalance in our emotional well being, here they are: fear, mm -hmm. self doubt, insecurity, feelings mm. of guilt, feelings mm. of shame, feelings mm. of regret, feelings of resentment. Need I mm. go on? Right. Yes. But these, yes. these are the things. You know, these are the things, you know, that are preventing you from moving forward. So now you have to step into yourself and say, now, hold on now. How do I want to feel? Mm. This is the key. Y'all better How, be taking notes. They better be. I'm dropping gems. How do I want to feel? What do I want to achieve? How do I want my relationships to be? Mm. What stopped me from reaching that goal right there? Identify the clutter that's in your path, because that's what's going to help you clear it and push it to the side, so that you could, so that you could walk straight. You look at it and you say, "Listen, you know what? I'm identifying that I'm holding on to somebody else's emotional baggage, and that's why I'm not moving forward. I'm not moving forward in my own." balance ocean well-being because i'm too busy trying to balance how somebody else feels mm. based on my actions based on mm. how i how i move or mm. i'm moved by somebody else's actions why should i be moved when i understand that your mentality is just not in alignment with mine so i will mm. not allow Woo! you to balance my emotional well-being at the cost of, of myself what is it costing me to lose my emotional well-being? I'd rather lose you than me. Mm. Mm. Ah! Next thing, banish your <laughs> negative thinking habits. <laughs> you got to banish your negative thinking habits. Listen, you guys, you've identified, we just went through this little thing right here, right? You've identified the ingrained negative thoughts that are holding you back in the last question that I asked you, right? Now what you need to do is banish them. Y'all know what banish means? Be done. <laughs> Go on. on. <laughs> Vamos. Arrivederci. I saki yaki. I don't know. Whatever you want to say. <laughs> banish them. Because many of these habits, they start at an early age, right? Maybe you were told that you weren't good enough. Right? Mm -hmm. Maybe you feel like you don't deserve good things. Maybe you believe your goal is impossible, but why do you believe that? Did somebody tell you that you weren't good enough? More than likely. Because if you grew up with somebody telling you, you are worthy, you are powerful, you are more than enough, you can do all things. You're not going to have the mentality of somebody who don't believe in themselves because that's not your programming. So whatever your prior programming was by your parents, your parents' parents, your teachers, your, your religious centers, or whatever the case might be, all of those things played a part into what we call your persona. What is a persona? It is a personality. And that personality that you have is who you have become based on the thoughts that you 
who have died as your own that were handed down to you by somebody else. So the truth is, you're still not being yourself. Right. When you are pretending that you're not good enough, take note that I said, when you are pretending uh. that you're not good enough, because the truth is you are good enough. Do you make, Perhaps you might need to add a new scale to be even greater than the good enough that you are. Can you learn a new skill to increase your value? Absolutely. Can you learn how to love yourself to increase the value that you have for yourself? Absolutely. Can you read more books so that you can educate yourself to be, uh, be on a higher level of consciousness in order to better yourself? Yes, I can. Because the more that you pour into you in a positive way, what happens is the negative has to fall out by default. So think yeah. about it like this. You got to, let's say we got a cup, right? This, this cup is full of mud. I'm running water on top of the cup, right? It's good, it's going. And what's happening? The mud is coming up, it's coming out, coming out. And as I hold the glass there under some hot water for another minute or two, now I no longer see the dirt. The dirt is gone, the mud is gone, and I got a clean glass. This is what has to happen when it comes to your thoughts. You have a whole lot of dirt. And so you got to pour in some white. You got to pour in some water. You got to clean it out, right? In order for whatever is negative and to fall out, you cannot pour into yourself if you are not allowing yourself to be poured into in the right way. You got to choose you. You got to say, I know what I'm going to do. I know I'm going to change my habits. I mm -hmm. know I used to, right? I wake up late as heck. Why do I wake up so late? You start asking yourself why you wake up late? Because there's something inside of you that does not want you to prosper. There's something inside of you that's still trying to hinder your success. You want to know what it's called? Ego. Mm -hmm. It wants to keep you small. And so the more that you let it take the lead, yeah. it's going to lead until you be the person to redirect it. I don't want to keep talking. I got a couple more to give y'all, which would be like, forgive yourself, forgive, forgive others and forgive yourself. You know, explore the sources of your negative thoughts. Explore the sources of that self-doubt. You know, it may dread up a painful experience from the past. And if you are still in resentment from something that somebody did or said to you, now would be the time to forget. We had spring cleaning. That was winter. Whatever right. there was a cold winter. They did what they did. Honey, we are right. springing forward unless you choose to fall back. Yeah, with forgiveness comes accountability because the, the reason why we are in those situations is because we allowed ourselves to be there. So first it's like you have to take it to account. Listen, I got myself into this situation. For, like you said, forgive yourself. Forgive yourself. Yes. And then it's like, okay, now you under, you have to understand too and have empathy because a lot of times with forgiveness comes empathy. That's the only way we're able to forgive because we have to look at it from that person's perspective as well. So when you start to... Right. have empathy for the other person and be like, you know what? I can see, even though they're not understanding where I'm coming from, I understand where they're coming from. And that allows I me understand. to move. I understand and I overstand. Okay. Because when you know right. better, you do better. So it's like, okay, you do listen, you don't have to That's wait right. for, you don't have to wait for those people to heal. You got to heal. You got to be in your best. You got to right. get, I don't know what you believe in, but you just got to cast that over to something else. You got to throw it away. You got to give it to somebody else to handle. And, and you don't have to handle it anymore. You don't take on those battles. It's time for us That's to right. be ladies and, and be soft and feminine. We don't need to be out here bucking against any masculine energy. Okay. We right. utilize if you want to be a CEO, that's how you use that masculine energy when you're working in that field. But it's like, remain a lady. Don't fight them battles, honey. You give it to somebody yes. else. I give mine to God, honey. <laughs> and now that's so true. And guys, you know what? Once you've identified that source, right, of those self-defeating patterns, the mindset, the habits, right? Once you defeat those and you begin replacing those habits, those thoughts, those beliefs, even when it comes to forgiveness. Sometimes you don't want to forgive because you feel like what they did was just so bad. 
but what you never stop asking yourself, how did it get to that? What happened to them before they got to you that actually caused mm. them to be that way? So right. because you're addressing your own selfish, so to speak, reasons yeah. of why this person needs to be this particular way, <laughs> you know, be okay. Listen to what you're asking. You're saying, I need you to behave like this so that I can be okay. Mm. It don't go like that. I choose to be okay, regardless, because I understand, I understand, and I understand where you are. I'm not coming for you because I don't want to pass judgment against you because I don't know your full story. Who am I? I this uh, the other night when I did um a thing with him. Here's the thing, guys, right? You don't wouldn't it be nice if you could tell somebody how to love you? If you could just tell them, like, listen, this is how you love me. You bring me this, <laughs> do this, you do that, and you do this. This is how you love me, right? And they just listen. That would be beautiful, right? But the truth is, it doesn't happen that way. The way right. that it happens is you get to see how that person loves and then you get to decide whether that's something that you want to continue to be a part of or not can so i can i interject get- this because i love that i love that i love that thought you gave can i interject so absolutely. i so absolutely you get to see, <laughs> and no but uh, to, um to add to what you're saying because i want to piggyback what off you're saying because i'm not playing devil's advocate no. i actually agree I think I think I, I I agree I I agree with what you're saying. At the same time, I look at it from a perspective of sometimes you can meet someone and if they're open and they don't know you or know how to love you, you could teach them how to love you and give them that choice. Now, if they not if they don't adhere to they're not open, you know, yeah, they're not open to that. Like you said, it would be so nice to get somebody, but if somebody's open to your love language. And they're they're doing it because they like I want you and I want to do what makes you happy. I think that's cool too. I think that's cool it too is. because sometimes nobody's ever gonna walk in with the manual. They ain't gonna come in with the Kia Diamonds book, honey. They gonna come, they not gonna come yeah. in. So, but a person, <laughs> that willing, a person that is willing, open, and able, I think that you know, give it a shot. If they if listen, if they're not willing to do it, then it's like, hey. On to the next. Then you have to. Then you. Then you're forced to kind of let it go. But I definitely right. want to want to piggyback off of what um, Fraze is saying yes. because there are people do bad things, but you have to think about what during what time of their life if that was. It could have been something that they did to you back when y'all was like 21, 20. Now y'all like 40. 50, and you still holding on to what that person is. Stop playing with me. <laughs> Especially if it's a man. At 21, he was still 14. He was still 14 trying to figure, smelling himself, you know, his little balls a little wet, whatever going on, you know. He's trying to figure his life out. So why am I going to be mad at something that this person did right. back when I was 22? Right. Mm-hmm. What I can I can forgive you for what you did not you didn't have awareness of. Now, nice. as you get older, if you still acting like the same little fourteen year old, then guess what? I'm Girl. gonna forgive you, but I'm gonna also forget about <laughs> establishing. Like, we can't even sure. be friends, right? We can't be friends because your 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 mentality is not there. For I can't forgive you, and I right. can you know be okay with the fact that just the way that it was back then but if you show me that you know what you really like you just said like i really want this i'm willing to make the necessary changes i'm gonna do better and if you notice that 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 that's taking place then go for it it could be sometimes you have to understand guys that people have to go and grow through things before they become who they become Ain't nobody right. come out at 21 knowing all these adult lessons. We were still yeah. thinking high school and yeah, Sasha boyfriend talking to Jamie and all that kind of stuff, right? But come on now. 
as the Bible says, as I get older, what I put away childish things, right? Yes. I put mm -hmm. away childish things. What's that? How the verse go for you? Um, it was um, when I was girl, a child. I thought as a child. When I was a child, I did things as a child. Uh -huh. And when I grew up, I put away childish things. Some, something to that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Y'all know I'm trying to say. <laughs> it's, it's the lamest terms version, honey. It's the lamest term. As a child, I thought as a child, I did child things. And when I got older, I put away those childish things. So that's basically what it what it is, you know? So, but um, I, I definitely agree. Yeah. I think like, you know, um, like going off of what you're saying, like if you're still acting the same way that you were acting, you know, uh, in your 20s, then that's blocking your emotional well-being. <laughs> so they got to go. Like you said, right. I can't even be a friend. You said, I can't even be a friend. Right. Right. I mean, <laughs> lack of emotional like, yeah, mature. You, you ain't know nothing about no love, like, especially yeah. as a dude. You ain't know nothing about that. So how am I going to hold you hostage for something that and almost every man out here go through it. I mean, it's, it's a very small amount <laughs> who don't go through the childish zone. They all mm -hmm. end up going, they got to go through the childish zone. We're all learning. We're all, all learning. Unless they have a mother. We all come from different Unless walks they of have life. a mother. Unless they have a mother. Unless they have a mother like me or phrase where we Period. speak life, life to right. our boys. Right. We educate our boys on how to treat people properly so that right. at his young age he does not involve himself with the distraction which is the next thing that affects your emotional well-being yeah distraction distractions y'all gotta understand it ain't just your phone just a distraction it's your thoughts yeah your thoughts are a distraction your thoughts you have a, a bad habit of negative thinking so distractions you have to realize that let's say you are working on your project and you getting things done all of a sudden somebody decides to call you and you get distracted and then you stay on the phone with them for an hour knowing that you was just about to take action on your goal let me tell you the truth your brain just channel for that person to come and interrupt you you want to know why because you keep saying Oh, I can't never get nothing done. Every time no. I try to get something done, no. somebody just call me. But why is that happening? Because you perhaps have not set boundaries. Mm. Let's go deeper. That will affect your emotional well-being, lack of boundaries. If you do not set the stopping point, people are going to always keep pushing past your pushing point. They mm. gonna keep pushing you. Why? Because you let them. Mm. You let them. So mm. you're teaching people how it's okay <laughs> to distract you. Even yeah. if it's for 20 minutes. And me, I really had a hard time with boundaries to a certain extent because I have this empathetic, compassionate heart and I have a tendency to not want to see people suffer. And I also have an understanding that a lot of people really just don't have anybody to talk to. And because there's nobody to even just listen to them, sometimes they do things to themselves because they feel like nobody cares. And this being is the person that I am, yeah. And being the person that I am, I had a hard time with setting boundaries but it's like I literally had to. And so sometimes I may come off as cold when it comes to my boundaries, but I'm not being cold at all. I'm literally just, just being stern in what I know is going to take me away from what I deserve, what I desire, what I prefer. If that distraction could wait till later, listen, babe, we could talk about that later right now i need to focus on writing this book right now i need to focus on what i'm doing. right now i need to record my podcast right now i need to write this song right now but if you want to talk about that later we can see this is communication a lot of times you know if you if you communicate the whole thing with your distraction. If you have somebody that still be, be distracted towards you after you set the boundaries and you tell them, then 
You might and it's to adding to what you're saying. <clears throat> adding to what you're saying, it's agreeing. Like you said, right now I'm working on this. Right now I'm working on that. Like you had a list of things. Now from you being that person and setting your boundaries, they are now seeing like, look at my friend. This is why she's so balanced. This is why she is the way she is. Maybe I need to be more like that. We may not be in the same category, but maybe I need to be moving right. keeping myself busy. And so right now I won't be distracting her. And right now I won't be feeling like, and I could put myself in a space where I can go yes. to a counselor, like go to a counselor, like, you know, and, and just to share with you guys, that's something that I did. That was something I did. I went and got myself a counselor. My friends even suggested, they said, have you thought of? There are some people, even in the African-American community, who think that yes. counseling is something we don't do because you are, you're going to be deemed as crazy. What I'm here to tell you is that speaking to a counselor is like speaking to my mother or speaking to my friend, except for I'm not pouring that energy on them. I'm Pouring it into somebody who's actually just going to sit there and listen. Because sometimes when you're speaking, you don't want people to interject or bother you. You just want to pour out and get your words out. Sometimes you don't even want a response. They will stay on the phone and they're not going to tell you how to live your life. They may offer some options of things that can keep you focused, tell you to go, hey, have you thought about, give you suggestions, have you thought about going to the gym Oh, yeah, I used to go to the gym. Well, maybe um, you might want to look into that. I heard of this or what have you. And then they talk to you again. What, what's the, what yes. have you done since the last time we spoke? Oh, I got into the gym. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I met this girl there. Blah, blah, blah. Yes. We started to keep it. Like your life, they see your life growing and prospering and you getting back to the you that you need to be. So then that way, yes. you won't even have to talk them anymore you might be hitting them up with a thank you letter saying thank you so much for being in my life and being a person i can listen to and then we put so much stress and pile so much yes. on the people that are actually in our lives that is draining them let's listen if you're behind that's got to get now i don't suggest to get medication but if you got to get medication, get your medication i didn't have to get medication right. I, but don't make it any better but god put things on this earth to help people just listen, do everything decently and in order. Don't uh, abuse whatever it is that you're trying to do. Even a counselor, don't sit there and look at the counselor for help. Sometimes you got to pull away, cut that cord and say, I'm going to go out here in life and, and yep. life on. You can't hold on to that counselor forever, but you can check in from time to time if you feel, feel the need to. All right. But that's all I had to say. I'm sorry. So you was, you got me riled yep, up because you had me, I forgot what you were saying. Yes. We going um no, I was just gonna say that um to be mindful if you're the person who is the distraction, pay attention mm. to when it's you because it's very for you to be like, okay, damn, I need, I need, I need, I need, I need, but how often do you actually go to this person <laughs> and you're always putting them away from themselves because they feel like they have to be there for you. They don't want to feel bad about being there for you. One thing that Trey said that was that Trey said that was very, very good and meaningful to me is being a listener. Not everybody wants an answer. Sometimes mm -hmm. people just really need to to pass all of this stuff that they've been going through. That doesn't mean that you just be a dumping ground. You can <laughs> say, all right, babe, I heard enough. <laughs> okay. You know, you can't, you can't say that but it ain't token. I mean, don't don't ever be a, a total dumping ground. But at the same token, you may discover something that you thought you knew when you had it all wrong, just because you thought you knew when you didn't even just give them an opportunity to hear. I mean, give yourself an opportunity to hear what it is that they have to say, because if you can see something from somebody else's perspective, it's a possibility that it may actually alter yours for the better. It may mm. also release some of the doubts and shame and the regrets 
thoughts and the all of those emotions that you have inside of yourself because maybe somebody didn't apologize or maybe you didn't get the closure that you were looking for whatever the case yeah. might be you're not in control of those things but you're in control of yourself if you don't get the closure that you need from someone else, I need you to remember that the closure happens for you, but mm. also be open to hear if that person shows up and they want to share with you. Don't go judging them like, no, let me tell you what you did. Cause you did, 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 did. I mean, to me, erotic to me. How do you <laughs> want to, you want to come to a solution. You want to come to peace, but yet, you're already prepared to chop somebody's head off. I'm not doing that. I'm going to hear you out unless you give me a reason to chop yeah. your head off. And guess what? Even after I chop your head off, I'm, I'm going to be so happy that I love you anyway. I'm going, and every, all my friends know this about me. TK, she may, if, 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 you, if, you, if you strike a call, you know, she may, she gonna say when she, she gonna speak her mind. She's gonna tell the truth when she speaks her mind. It may, yeah. her truth may be a little brutally honest when she speaks her mind. But right. she's gonna do that. <laughs> but friends will tell you, after I speak my mind, it doesn't matter who you are. I'm gonna the words. I'm telling you, I'm sorry if, if it felt like I'm coming down on you, but I want right. more for you. I feel like you deserve more. And I feel like you like Jack, like you're settling. So forgive mm. me if I seem upset. I'm a, I'm I'm upset and I'm frustrated because I believe that you're worth so much more, and I'm upset that you can't see that for yourself. So let me be statue for about two three minutes. I'll survive. Uh, I'll come that's down a type, and I'll but that's a different type of man. That's a different type of man. That's a man like you're upset because you want them to be a better person. You're not like, hey, let me tell you about yourself kind of situation. Let me hold this grudge against you. It's like, no, I want you to be a better person. So like, even with the people that are holding on to grudges, by the time you heal, once you get the healing for yourself, you're not going to care to tell the person what they did to you. You'll be so over it. You're not. It's nothing that needs to be discussed. You're just be a listening ear for them to get their stuff <laughs> off. Okay, you got your stuff off. Okay, so where did we move from here now? We don't have to. Be where do friends. we go from where here? Now? Where do we go Why? from here? Now? Is, it Is it in peace? And you go your way, and I could still go my way. We don't have to really. I mean, we could be cordial. Well, we, don't gotta, we don't have to be we enemies. Have to, Here's my thing. Yeah, we don't have to be I enemies, but we can have that peace, knowing there's no cloud over enemies. us. You got out what you needed to say, and I got out what I needed to say. Like, and oh you gotta goodness. think about it. I say for me, I don't. I got enough hidden enemies. I don't need to know. <laughs> I don't need to know the real ones. I, it's yeah. enough of them in the background that I don't even know about. I don't even know you, and, and and whatever it is that you feel. But whatever you feel about me is only because you see something in me that you won't allow yourself to be. And when mm. you allow yourself to be what you see in me, I'm just another you. That's it. Uh -huh. I'm a vessel. I got a brain just like you. I got a heart just like you. I program my mind and I program the emotions in my heart so that I got brain and heart coherence. And because I have brain and heart coherence, that's the reason why my life looks the way that it does. Because nobody gave me anything. I gave myself the gift of mental consciousness of stability, stable thinking, and, and positive thinking and empowering thinking. And I for myself to feel amazing in my heart, even when I'm hurt, even when somebody hurts me, or, or, or well, again, it's not even about them hurting me because they ain't hurt me. They hurt my expectations. They mm. just they 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 broke my heart. Nobody breaks wow. your heart. They break your yeah. expectation of what you thought oh, they were wow. supposed to be or do. That's deep. That's no. That's deep. That's deep. Ain't break your heart. So you you more so gotta come to the point where it's like, you know what? I know that I can't change anybody. The only thing that I can do is be an example of what's possible for somebody else. And if I can do that and you decide to join me, great. If not, it's all right. I mean, I wish you the best on whichever route you decide to take. I just know where I'm going. And I'm not gonna hold on to anything that's 
gonna hold me back or hold me down because I'm emotionally weighed down behind somebody else. I cannot do that. My purpose is too big to be focused on small-minded people. I cannot do it. Mm. Boundaries. You sound like you got a lot of boundaries, sis. Going into the next, <laughs> the next. <laughs> what is some good? Um, what are some good self care practices? Okay, so you went through a. All right, we we briefly we talked about um, doing meditation, right? Um, yoga. Now. One of my favorite things to do is just be still. Is to literally just be present. And you want to know why? Because when you're present, there is no distractions. When you're present, there is no problem. And when you're present, you also know that the issue is already being solved. See, when you are interacting too much with something that kind of already has a solution to it, you literally put yourself in like this whirlwind of things that will cause it to go the opposite way. But if I'm in the present moment, and I'm going to ask you guys to even just do this with me too, we can do the fine. And what I want you to do is don't think just feel. And what I want you to do is just close your eyes. I want you to take, take three deep breaths in. Breathe in. Hold it for about five seconds. Breathe out. Breathe in again through your nose. Hold it. And breathe out. And one more deep breath in. Hold it. And breathe out. Now with your eyes closed, I want you to just simply be. If thoughts come into your mind, just let them pass and bring your attention back to your heart. And I want you to just take your right hand and place it over your heart. And I want you to just breathe naturally and just feel the beat of your heart. Don't think much of it. Oh my God, my heart is beating. Nothing. Just feel it. Be proud with it. And look at all of the beauty that's happening inside of your body unconsciously. Your blood is flowing. Your organs are pumping. Your small intestine and large intestine are working to digest whatever you put in your body. All of these things are happening while you're focusing on everything outside of you. There's an amazing infinite intelligence within you. So be present with that. Don't think. Just feel. And I want you to just see the blank screen on your mind. And in this blank screen, what I want you to do is I'm going to have you declutter. And as you keep your hand over your heart, I want you to ask yourself, what thoughts, feelings, and emotions am I holding on to that is limiting my emotional well-being? 
What stories? And who told me? Where did I learn this behavior from? To spaz out, to act out, to be upset to not get my work done, to procrastinate, to feel shameful, to feel doubtful. Who taught me this? Who told me I wasn't good enough? Who told me that's not going to work? Who told you that you're not supposed to do that? But they have no idea what you've been called here to do. and just hear the answers. What is it that I yourself wants you to know? Or what is it that that little boy version of yourself wants you to know that you can let go of now? Was it the way that mom yelled at you? Was it the way that dad said that You're not supposed to cry. You're not man enough if you're crying, which is all wrong. You're a human being. You have emotions. These are all beliefs. And what I want you to do right now is I want you to choose to let them go. So I want you to repeat after me. All of these feelings that I have, all of the doubts, all of the fears, all of the uncertainties that are causing an imbalance in my well-being. Can I let this go? And I want you to respond to yourself and say, yes, I can. The next question that I want you to ask yourself is, will I let this go? And I want you to respond, yes, I will let it go. And on the last question, I want you to think about all of the things that came up in your mind that is hindering you from having the ultimate emotional well-being for yourself. All of this sadness, all of this hurt, all of this depression, all of this uncertainty, all of this shame, all of this, all of this doubt, fears, this everything that is in the way. When will I let this go? And I want you to respond to yourself and say, I let this go now. And I want you to repeat it. Five times until you feel the energy of whatever that emotion was. Think of the emotion. I'm angry. Not I'm angry. I feel angry. I feel upset. And can I let my feelings of anger go? Yes, I can. Can I let my feelings of disappointment go? Yes, I can. Will I let my feelings of resentment, hurt, disappointment go so that I can balance my own well-being? Yes, I will. And when will I let these imbalances go? I let them go now. Deep breath in. Hold it. Release. I let them go now. Breathe in again. Let it out. Check in. Any other remaining feelings that you didn't mention? All of this hurt, repeat it again. All this hurt, this pain, the betrayal, the resentment, the hurt, the the y'all think of y'all think about it. Y'all think about the emotions. When will I let this go? I let it go now. I let it go now, and I let it go now. Now take one deep breath in, hold it for about five seconds, 